try. So, Mark, what's been the feeling like going into this final round game for you guys? Yeah, a lot of excitement from the, from the whole organisation. Um, it's a really special game. Matt Hudson's very much the heart and soul of the club. So a great opportunity to celebrate his wonderful career and everything that he's contributed to West Australian rugby. And I, Dave Wessel spoke and some of the players have spoken during the week about how proud they are of the guys and how they've dealt with all the off-field stuff this year. How have you felt about how the club has handled it? Yeah, look, I, I've been very proud of all the staff um, and everyone's stuck very tight together. Um, we've got a very strong belief and, a, and uh, just a very strong fundamental belief that rugby has a very strong play, uh, you know, a big role to play here in West Australia and we believe in, in Australian rugby as well. And what, from your view, is the, the precedent here? Obviously arbitration starts on July 31, but what are you expecting from that point on? Well, I mean, so, I mean in, in, in a lot of ways, for me, the good thing is that the decision's in the hands of an independent body. And uh, I'm really pleased that we, you know, we, we've now got a date and uh, we'll, we'll get a decision in, in, that, uh, in that period. And what has been your reaction, I guess, to the way that South Africa has handled it? It was pretty clean and clean cut and, and that, that the fact that those two teams could have a kind of a second chance, I guess, in the Pro 12 as well. Yeah, it, it, and I think they faced a series of a, a different situation almost. Um, but yeah, full, full credit to South African Rugby Union on the way that they outlined a process and were able to follow it through. I think importantly they did have a, uh, a plan B, so to speak, and an option, and, and I guess an option that they've been considering for some time. Uh, I think realistically that's, that uh, for us to follow something similar is a lot harder. Rupert came out today and, and kind of implored the AAU and Sansa to look at a 16 team option as a plan B for next year to maybe move to a, a trans-Tasman competition in 2020 and beyond. What would be your thoughts on that? Obviously that would mean that the force potentially survives. Sure. Um, the, um, look, uh, you know, th there's a lot involved in that question and, and, and there's you know, a lot of issues, but where we are right at the moment, um, it seems to me that we'll end up with uh, four teams and you know, we've got our heads very much focused about that and planning for what that looks like for us for next year. And obviously, you know, we have to wait for the decision to, to see what happens next beyond that, but would you look at potentially you know, appealing a decision or is there any avenues for you to follow if it doesn't go your way um, in July? Yeah, look, there's, there's a, always a range of options depending on what comes out of the arbitration case. Um, so, look, I think we really have to wait and see then. But, it, um, you know, we remain very positive that we're going to be in the competition next year. Um, we're very well supported by our, our legal team. Um, we have a number of people who are financially backing the organisation. And, uh, you know, for all those things, you know, we see a very strong and bright future for rugby in West Australia. And just lastly, we've spoken to quite a few passionate fans out here tonight. Are you hoping to, to see a few, a big crowd, I guess, out here? Yeah, no, no, the support, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate it's been wet all day, but um, still I think, you know, the hardcore of Perth, and we certainly know there's a lot of goodwill feeling towards the club and, and um, knowing a lot of people will be watching as well. Thanks so much, Mark. Thanks.